interesting book. Hello, sir. How are you? Thanks for watching. We have a good opportunity here because I have a construction. I have an initial clean, let's put it that way, but they're really dirty. So I do these once a month, but here's our initial clean. And although it's not necessarily a construction cleanup, there's leaves, spider webs, just dirt, just stuff you're gonna have to. Okay, so. Just using my two high flyers. You know, it'd be good to get pole and go through all this. So let me do that. Okay, so I mean, ideally, you probably want Feather Duster or Edere makes what's called the Webster. And I don't have either of those, so I'm just gonna use this. It's just a Turkish towel. So I mean, in, in almost all my videos, I'm doing maintenance cleans, so you never see me do anything like this. Unless, I mean, there's one or two stops that has really bad spider problems. You know, I'm just trying to get the worst of it. We'll just use our 16 inch high flyer. My two favorite abrasives are these, bronze wool and magic eraser. Bronze wool is more aggressive, so that's for more of the chunkier stuff. And then the magic eraser is more for like fingerprints and stuff like that. artillery fungus so just take this so I mean this is stuff you take care of it on the initial clean so you don't have to deal with it later on told me that he's got windows upstairs that he doesn't want to do right now but when they get maybe when they move up there he'll have them done i didn't try to sell him on that i didn't try to say well you want to get it done now you know it's worth it and nope don't feel like having that conversation when you really know that the guy doesn't want to get it done but this customer does not demand perfection in any way well, i'm not going to demand that of myself in these situations, sometimes the outsides are cleaner, easier to clean than the insides. Those little dots are shotgun fungus or artillery fungus, and they come from the mulch. And you can already see a really vast improvement. initial cleans go this actually is not that bad at least so far but definitely a reason why you want to charge more for them Move. 
but you know you want to you want to close them when you're done too. So I'd say the outs the insides are just as dirty as the outsides. Don't think that you're going to be able to clean these without detailing. It's just unrealistic. And let's see how dirty it is. Let's not let that sit too long. All right, so maybe you want to start off with your magic eraser. Just get all that grime off. You can hear it. And then it's quiet. Loud, quiet. And you just see that filth. You see years of neglect. But in a second's time, it's clean. All right. Up here. Make sure we get that. And you want to use more soap on your initial clean. The window is going to require that. Flossing it. You know, it's good to have a microfiber because it's got a little more abrasiveness to it. But right, that's all you gotta do. And uh, and then when you come down here, sometimes you're not able to get behind here squeegee. Sometimes. Sometimes you can't. In this case, not. That's the downside of using the high flyer in hand. Then you just pull it through like that, bunch it up, just floss through like that. If your hand fits, you can also go like this. Just put it over your hand. I am going to just do some final touch-ups and then we're done.